All right guys, so this is going to be more of like a news update, just going to be a very quick one. So right on the bat, we have the, uh, every 15 of the month, we have a free summon. So that's obviously nothing really spectacular to go over this. So we have the clan battle. So they have already announced the next clan battle, which is going to take place on the 24th. So that's pretty exciting actually. Oh, the 20, oh, hold up, whoa, 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 hold up. 24th, oh, whoa, oh, they're doing it next week hold up oh i thought they were doing it like at the end of the month but no they went ahead and skipped april 30 30th and this went to 24 okay so yeah so that's the, that's uh pretty much what we are looking at so i was i was shocked i didn't i saw the news but i didn't take a look at the date but what's more interesting is the enemy we are fighting against is going to be a purple so what does that mean um like I said again, when we are taking a look at the calendar days versus the JP, April for Global should be the happy anniversary, while for JP it was in May, so it was kind of make sen making sense if you are trying to guess what is a Liberty unit to be released. Uh, there is not a particularly one that is going to be released, especially for a yellow, except for Phoenix. So there you guys have it. So happy anniversary is coming out. So Phoenix is going to be the headlining unit for the first part, and then part two, which is somewhere in May, where we will be getting the Penelope, or not the not, not Penelope. My bad. Can see in them, so that's uh, pretty good. Uh, I'll definitely do like a quick overview of what the Phoenix can do. So, whether or not you guys want to save it for that is definitely up to you guys. So, what that means next week, we are getting the challenge battle, and the image already says everything you need to know. We are going to be getting a Dolwyn Wolf commander machine or the commander type. Um, yeah, the enemy is going to be a blue, so right now there isn't a whole lot of green light that should be releasing as far as the global timeline. So the Dolphin Wolf is going to be the clear option. Uh, because like they even kind of hint us, you know, giving us a lot of hints. And there's the new, uh, the first New Zealand War raid in close combat. So those are like, you know, kind of like a hint of like, all right, what's going to be good for the battle and then what what we'll be releasing right so Dolphin Wolf is going to be, be the one that's coming out so let's kind of quickly take a look at those units because I know probably people are like wondering like all right are they good unit to go for and and stuff right uh let's start up with the Dolphin Wolf so that's coming out next week on Tuesday reset uh, this one, don't look at the rating. Uh, I, I think it's a little bit more misleading compared to what they have for JP and what we have for Global. Uh, but essentially what this unit is good for is the support type element. This unit is uh, going to supposedly ch shake things up in terms of using units that are raid, using units that are close combat. Because when we do take a look at the skill one and skill two, they are essentially increasing the evasion rate or e evasion rate for uh, these raid units, and then also increasing, I believe, for the close combat. So you have that for the skill one, and the skill two is actually reducing the enemies. Uh, so it's count it's, it's the count opposite. So the skill two is actually reducing the enemies uh, rate and close combat. We, uh, uh, what is it, the, the evasion rate? So that's kind of like, um, I don't know how effective this one would be. Like, I know for Arena for sure it should be all right because there's still a lot of these, you know, close combat raid unit running a, a, around like that. Like, you know, like your Blue Destiny get it one. We have like your Zaku twos and whatever. So those I think are going to be pretty effective. Uh, we got the Moon Gundam. Moon Gundam is probably going to be uh, shining for a little bit. So we have that. Uh, EX skill is pretty cool as well because it does grant absolute evasion for five seconds. It's only for five seconds. So this is going to be one of those EX skill that you, or this is one of those units that is preferably maxed out because the potential uh, at least does matter to kind of uh, increase these duration all right so this could be a unit that you might want to go for sand but honestly speaking i don't really think this is a unit to even go for uh simply speaking this is a this is kind of niche uh you're only targeting units that are like raid and then close combat there's still the rest of the games that that needs support and there isn't necessarily like a, a general support in here at all compared to easy eight 
uh, I think Easy A is definitely of a much better support than this one. I know both of them does different things, but Easy A at least is a little bit more broad, while this one is really for those two uh, st uh, specific instances. So that's why um, I feel like this one could be a skip. Um, yeah, uh, for me personally, I'm not gonna be going for it. I don't, I don't really care about things that will work better or not in Arena. I, I don't care about that. Uh, but for those that who cares about Arena, this could be a nice addition to kind of change up the meta for you guys and kind of see how that rolls around uh fenix i don't think i need to spend too much time explaining how you know powerful this unit is uh essentially i feel like fenix could work really nice at this you know one once you pour a copy because this is more of like a true support than what the dolphin whip is doing so essentially everything revolves around the exq uh, you are increasing the beam damage. So essentially, this is a debuff unit. So you're increasing both the beam and projectile damage taken by the enemy. So that's literally it. Uh, the transcendent skill is not something you will need. It's more of like you have some survivability aspect of things. Like you have evasion, e evasion rate increase. So you have that. You have some more damage dealt by the unit itself, and then you have more act uh, after you activate EX skills and whatnot. So it's definitely not something you would say. Oh, I need the transcendent skill to make this unit function. I don't really think so. Um, and then I do, I do believe there is this part uh, each time EXA was activated, damage taken to enemy in the so pretty much anything that has the cycle frame, they're gonna take an additional 26% damage as well. So, in that regards, this one we are looking at the T5, so transcendent skill level 5. So, that's definitely a huge push for you know just the majority of the player base but uh if you guys do one if you guys do one uh pull one copy of this unit you guys are totally fine uh i, I think it's definitely okay i don't even think you need any more copy than that so you guys can definitely slowly cook the transcendent skip if you want so we have that uh this one is pretty basic we have a e evasion ray and then we have um the, what is this one uh ex gauge recovery increase so that's actually pretty powerful to have so pretty nice uh other than that i think that is going to be pretty much it so in april and may it's going to be two stack month because they are uh, definitely going to be releasing if they are doing the happy anniversaries for sure in may we are getting the uh casique and them as well so uh right now that you guys want to go for the fan Phoenix is definitely up to you guys because Phoenix is more like a debuff um so it's, it's definitely up to you guys this discretion and whatnot but uh, other than that that's gonna be it for me and i'll be catching you guys all on the next one